the five forms of pathogenic heat in Chinese medicine, it's based on the five element theory. Each type of pathogenic heat has an affinity for a specific element. Pathogenic heat can change form and spread from one element to another very easily, and it can spread like an out of control forest fire. So sometimes it's really hard to find the origins of pathogenic heat because it does change its shape and um, moves around the body quite a bit. And I think if somebody has a constitutional weakness in a particular area, that's where the pathogenic heat can be most destructive. So we'll see that. So this is kind of what it looks like from a five element perspective. We can start here with depressive heat uh, in the wood element. We'll talk about that in a minute, but that can provoke or cause blood heat, which can provoke or cause the damp heat, which can provoke the, well, can leave somebody more susceptible to exterior wind heat. And then you can also have the yin deficiency heat. And then you can have the heat move around the five element system through the controlling cycle because the elements are failing to control or failing to restrain the heat and the other elements. So this is how I like to kind of analyze what's going on with pathogenic heat with people is start to see if I can start to clear off some of the symptoms and start to see what the root problem is then it'll tell me where the most effective supplements are going to be. So take for instance, if somebody has um, uh, damp heat, a lot of inflammation, um, and they have blood sugar dysregulation, they definitely have like a spleen chi issue, they often respond really well to like a berberine supplement that helps to resensitize the insulin receptor sites. It's in the curcumin family but it seems to work a little bit better for people with damp heat um, in the earth element. So if you have somebody that you can kind of clean things up and they have more blood heat, then you're going to want to look at herbs that cool the blood. Um, and Chinese herbs probably do one of the best jobs, I think, for blood heat uh, and abnormal bleeding. That's um, better than a lot of the supplements. Uh, depressive heat and the wood element. Uh, a lot of that comes from chi stagnation and the liver and gallbladder not working right. Um, so in that case, uh, using supplements to help the liver and the gallbladder function better can help to relieve some of that, that heat. Like the Wendon Tong for cooling, uh, cooling a warm gallbladder. Um, and, and some of the liver uh, supplements, um, especially the, the liver detox supplement, herb from evergreen I like a lot too if you guys haven't used that that's a really good one so we'll look at that so exterior wind heat we're going to start with the most superficial types of heat in Chinese medicine and it disturbs the metal element which is your lung and your large intestine the exterior wind heat can cause skin issues and respiratory symptoms um, it can affect the ligaments, which are bone-to-bone -bone connections. This is something that I kind of came up with on my own um, just through years of the muscle testing. And what I realized is that uh, ligaments often correspond with the large intestine for some reason. And uh, working on the large intestine um, testing locations, the pulse, when people come up with a lot of um, treatments, continuously in the large intestine area and they have some joint pain, it's usually ligaments. So what I found is if I used like Ligaplex from Standard Process or um, the essential oil blends for the large intestine on the ligaments, then they responded really well, really well. Um, also, you can have autoimmune conditions that will cause people to have like hives which would be in Chinese medicine an exterior wind heat type of symptom too. So you can get um, the autoimmune component coming in that way too on the skin, um, rashes. Uh, so you would want to look at our, their root treatments in the lung and large intestine. And if so, it's probably coming from, from this. Uh, exterior wind heat, it can transform from exterior wind cold. 
Um, and it follows the disease progression according to the six level theory, which I went into great detail in the COVID um, workshop I did last Wednesday. So if you guys could look at that, if you want more information on that. I think candida too will cause a lot of skin rashes, a lot of skin irritation. A lot of women who have um, vaginal issues. Um, there's the the lichen sclerosis condition, which often will affect the skin, where there's an autoimmune response against the skin. And a lot of times it happens in the vaginal area. And I believe this is due to candida overgrowth vaginally. Um, and it causes a lot of skin problems to here. So you can see in that case, you just, again, really want to support the lung and large intestine and do what needs to be done to kill off the candida. Okay, depressive heat. Depressive heat disturbs the wood elements, the liver and the gallbladder. Now it affects more of the tendons, which are your muscle to bone connections. And in this particular instance, that's where I find if you're using some of the like standard processed products, not so much Chinese herbs, I, I don't think, um, but some of the other product lines that differentiate between tendon support or ligament support, it's really important to kind of get that right. And often it corresponds to the different elements. So the wood element is going to be more your, your tendons or your muscle to bone connection. Exterior wind cold with depressive heat can transform uh, into, okay, so, so basically depressive heat combines with other types of pathogenic heat to create, or other types of pathogens to create other types of pathogenic heat. So this is really important when you're trying to kind of figure out where the root of this person's pathogenic heat is coming from. This is where depressive heat will make things look really confusing because if the person has exterior wind cold uh, or exterior wind cold comes in and they have depressive heat going on, it'll transform it to exterior wind heat. Depressive heat will combine with dampness to create dampness heat. It'll combine with blood stasis to, com to create blood heat. And it'll combine with yin deficiency to create yin deficiency heat deficiency heat. So <clears throat> the liver is in charge of, you know, coursing chi through the body, keeping everything moving. Um, so that's why it's so important to get rid of any chi stagnation because chi stagnation causes the depressive heat and then the depressive heat mixes with other constitutional weaknesses and creates more pathogenic heat. So sometimes that's how that can come in too. So for somebody who has damp heat, you're going to want to look at transforming the dampness, but also helping the liver chi, of course, the liver chi. And I think that's why Chinese herbs do such a good job is because they're, they're created in such a way that they look at those extra components of like, you know, coursing the, the liver chi in addition to resolving the dampness or coursing the liver chi in addition to dealing with the blood heat. So um, that's where I think the Chinese herbs, like I said, do a really good job. Blood heat disturbs the fire elements, which could be imperial or ministerial fire. So it'd be the heart, small intestine, pericardium, or triple burner. Uh, it affects all types of tissues that the blood nourishes. So again, um, that's where you could look at, is it affecting the skin and the muscles? And is there multiple different um, layers in the body that are being affected by, by pathogenic heat? Then it's probably coming from the blood. This type of heat is definitely more problematic today because it generates from food toxins, preservatives, infections, and environmental toxins. So this is where I really like that Great Plains environmental toxin test. Um, because I've been able to help people make major lifestyle changes that enables us to get the blood heat out. Because if they're exposing themselves to some type of toxin that's creating blood heat on a regular basis, nothing's going to work until you get rid of that toxin. It can enter through the blood, um, through the, um, it, so blood heat can enter the blood level through the lungs with oxygen or through the spleen with food. 
So what does that mean? It means that if you're in a, an environment that has a lot of air pollution, then you could be getting blood heat in that way too, um, coming in through the pollutants in the air. Uh, endocrine disrupting uh, chemicals mimic hormones in the blood too. Endocrine disruptors mimic hormones in the blood. <clears throat> so that's all the BPA, plastics, synthetic clothes. Do you guys know that they're making polyester nowadays out of synthetic water or um, recycled water bottles? Like I was shocked. So I actually started muscle testing people's clothes because I had some women with blood heat that it was clearly disrupting their ability to, to conceive. Um, I can share that with you later today. And we did some some blood work, some tests, and it, 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 I could tell that they had some type of issue with um, estrogens because we did a, an LCAP food intolerance testing and they were, they were intolerant to every food that had an estrogenic quality. So flax, soy, um, <clears throat> fennel, like anything that had an estrogenic quality to it, the person didn't test well to. And, um, and then I realized she wore a lot of polyester clothes made from recycled water bottles. And so that, that is just absorbing right into the skin. So uh, with these N autoimmune cases, you got to really be an investigator. Uh, damp heat. So damp heat disturbs the earth element, the spleen, and the stomach. It'll affect muscle tone and muscle strength. It forms from dampness combining with any of the other forms of heat. It resolves, requires resolving other forms of heat and strengthening the spleen function. Again, that's where I think Chinese herbs do a good job. Uh, weather patterns can also predispose groups of people to dampness. So if you live in a damp climate, then this can create problems for a lot of people, which is what I see. <clears throat> 